Hi guys, it is Aoife from Fred Weezy Died Laughing and I'm here with another monthly recommendations. Monthly recommendations is a Goodreads group created by Trina over between chapters and Kayla at Kayla Rain and this month's topic is friendship stories and I have a few different books to talk about that have some really great friendships in them. So one of the first books that I'm going to talk about is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. This is just a really great book about a boy called Charlie who's a little bit of a loner, he doesn't have much friends and he ends up becoming friends with two seniors in his high school and just going on some crazy adventures with them. This is just a really great book about kind of this kid coming into his own and kind of figuring out who he is and going on some wild adventures and parties and falling in love for the first time and all that kind of stuff and I just love it. I adore the movie, I adore the book. This is one, uh, I just love this story so much and it's definitely a really great friendship story. Another fantastic book about friendship is Because You'll Never Meet Me by Leah Thomas. I don't think I'll ever not stop recommending this, be this book to people because it's so great. This is a book about a boy called Ollie and a boy called Moritz who live in America and Germany. Ollie is allergic to electricity and Moritz has a pacemaker which means that they can never meet each other or else they could kind of kill each other but they end up becoming pen pals and just becoming best friends and kind of confiding in each other and helping each other out with different things and it's just really really great Um, I love this story so much it's just a really really great book and I would really recommend anyone to read it if they're looking for a really cute friendship story and just a really cute contemporary story as well because this is absolutely fantastic. Hey, another friendship story that I love is the friendship between all the gang in the Darkest Minds trilogy by Alexandra Bracken, Ruby, Liam, Zoo and Chubbs, I think is his name. Um, I just call them the Scooby Gang. They are one of my favourite little groups. I just really really love them all together, just the dynamic they have um, and just how they kind of start accepting each other um, and I just really really love them. They're one of my favourite little groups in a book as well so I would recommend The Darkest Minds for that friendship as well. Another book that has a really cute um, friendship in it is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. This is a book about a little girl called Mary who is sent to live with her cousin in this really big house and she ends up becoming friends with a little boy called Dickon who has kind of like, he's a little bit of an animal charmer, he's really, he has kind of like an animal whisperer and she ends up becoming friends with him and kind of exploring the outdoors and becoming this, you know, playful child that she never was before and she ends up getting to know her cousin Colin who is really sickly and she kind of encourages him to get up and about not just lay in bed all day and it's just a really really cute book and um, it's a really fast read there's only like 180 pages or something in this and it's just a really cute little classic book to read. Another book I love with friendship in it is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. This is just a great book centered around friendship this girl's um Friend goes away and list, leaves her a list of things to do during the summer and during this list of things to do the girl ends up getting becoming friends with all these different people and just doing all these crazy things and crazy adventures and it's just such a fun read. It's perfect for summer reading if anyone hasn't read it yet. You should definitely read it during the summer because it's a really good summery read and yeah I love it. I really really enjoyed it. I think I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. It's absolutely brilliant. And another really cute um, book about friendship is The BFG by Roald Dahl. This is a book about a girl called Sophie who ends up getting, um, she ends up being carried away by this a giant, the big friendly giant called the BFG and she ends up becoming friends with him and they go on this kind of mission to try and save the world from all the other evil giants out there who eat children and it is just really really cute. There's a movie coming out about this during the summer and I can't wait for it to come out because I think it's going to be brilliant and this is definitely just a super 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 cute book and the writing in this is just so funny and I read it last year and um, I reread it last year and I just enjoyed every single minute of it. And another fantastic friendship story is about The Thing About Jellyfish by Ali Benjamin. This is about a girl called Suze whose best friend dies um, from a drowning accident during the summer but then Suze ends up convincing herself that her friend didn't die from drowning but died from a jellyfish sting and she goes on this mission to prove this. This is basically just about a, 
um, a story about a girl trying to fit in, trying to figure out what she has to do to fit in, um, you know, kind of confused when her friends kind of reject her a little bit for being a little bit weird. It's just one of those growing up stories that I think everyone would identify with. Everyone has had those awkward moments that Suze goes through where they just don't know what's going on. They don't know what they're supposed to do. They don't know how to be cool. They don't know how to be pretty. They just don't understand why they can't just continue being themselves and why people don't accept them anymore, basically. And this is just really great. You kind of see backstory about Suze's uh, friendship with this girl and how it was really strong in the beginning and then it kind of starts to crumble when they get to that age 12, 13, 14 and um, when things start to get a little bit frayed around the edges when one girl kind of starts being really girly and starts going out with boys and all that kind of stuff and the other girl is left behind um, and it's just really really great I just love this book so much Um, yeah go and read it because it's absolutely fantastic. So that is a few friendship stories um, that I can recommend to you. Please let me know any friendship stories that you love and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again next time.